Hey everybody, this is uh, North Jetson Man 80 here, doing something just a little bit different. Um, don't worry, I'll still be giving updates on the Mint Festival and everything, but I figured I'd do a little bit of toy reviews and you know, kind of fill the space in between. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, I'll still be giving updates whenever they're available for the Mint Fest. Anyways, today we got uh, Transformers Classics Optimus Prime. Yeah, I know, you're probably used to the the more modern looking one with the little airfoil over the top here but well I do believe this one is a deluxe class anyways it came with a uh, Megatron that I'll be reviewing it eh, probably in my next video I uh, got this at Dollar General for like 20 bucks with Megatron and right now they got them back over at Dollar General at least my local Dollar General for 20 bucks so yeah, if you got a Dollar General nearby, go ahead and stop by, see if they have them. Anyways, it's a gun. More on that later. Got the classic G1 styling. It's pretty cool. Whole reason why I wanted them. This little button here is for a gimmick in robot mode. Um, more on that here in a minute. But yeah, he's got the classic G1 styling. Um, not much more I can say about that. Um, it is kind of loose right there, but that's all right. Now on to transformation. Feet flip up, separate the legs. Transforms almost exactly like G1 Optimus. Let me pull this up a little bit. All right. Arms fold out and out. Fists like that part, they're not separate anymore, they just flip out of the headlights. Head pops up, turns around. Turn around at the waist. You want to get the arms up all the way here. Pretty cool little auto transform feature right here. Take his waist, pivot down, and the wheels swing up. Push that back. All locks into place, bring his arms down, so that way he doesn't look all real excited and everything. Alright, readjust my camera a little bit. And here is Mr. Optimus in robot mode. Got a nice face, let's zoom in on that. not want to cooperate. There we go. Pretty cool face. Love the little crest up here. That's awesome. Now, also has light piping. Looks coolest with the laser. Check this out. Oh yeah, he's really glad to see you. Check that out. In case you're wondering what kind of laser I'm using, it's a uh, purple laser. And it's rolling around. All right, got that situated. Let's zoom back out here. Um, let's go ahead and move the camera back down. All right, so that's too far. As far as articulation goes for this guy, let's. Head can turn 360. Arms are on a ball joint at the shoulder. Can go around 360, nothing impedes it. Comes straight out like that. Swivel up here at the bicep. That goes 360 as well. Nice elbow, single elbow. Uh, the fist can move in and out, but uh, after a certain point, it's like, why even bother? Same for this side. All the same articulation. Doesn't swivel at the waist because the uh, wheels that swung up kind of locks it in. Legs can go out. You can do a full split just about. Swivel's mid thigh up here. Got a single knee, but that's all right. A lot of possibility there. Feet can pivot because transformation and as far as the gimmick I was talking about earlier 
This button here, you push it, and his upper torso from here up would spin in a 360, which I did it once, and well, he it became severely loose. I'd tip him, and his whole body would like tip off to the side, like what the hell's that? But anyways, what I did was I took, yeah, real cheap, easy fix. I took an Alka-Seltzer package, f tore off a piece of it, folded it, shoved it in there to keep it from moving around. Now it's in there, nice and tight. You know, won't move. Um, transforms a lot like the Masterpiece Prime. Really like it. Uh, got a nice little Autobot symbol there. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Maybe. Not doesn't want to do it. Well, that's because I can get right there. But nice little Autobot sign. Again, awesome light piping. Good, good head sculpt. I'm getting a little bit too close for comfort there. But, yeah, very good head sculpt. Again, love the crest. Don't think I've ever seen a little cross in the middle of it there. Yeah. Now, on... Can you stand for me? Maybe. Alright. On to his gun. Now, this attaches where the trailer hitch would go in uh, vehicle form. It's a little turret, so if you got like a little... Shoot, I don't know, like a, maybe a Human Alliance figure might work with it. I'm not certain. But, um, yeah, little turret. Now, this being Transformers, even the gun transforms. What you do is you take this, swing that part down, take the barrel, bring it down, boom. Optimus has himself a high-tech Tommy gun. Fits around the hand there. Which... Given all of his articulation, you can give him some pretty kick-ass poses. Like that. Let's see. Have him raise his gun over his head in victory. And, for the most part, he's a pretty stable figure. I mean, just about every pose I've put him in, he stays put. So yeah, definitely if you like Optimus, you're if you're a fan of the G1 Optimus, get this one because I mean honestly he's worth getting. Um definitely a very good representation of G1 Optimus. Very good modern update to him. Like I said, a lot of the details come from the uh, masterpiece Optimus. Especially like the vents here, although these are on the side instead of the front, which, okay. But, definitely, you can see a lot of the inspiration from the Masterpiece Optimus, and a lot from the original G1 Optimus in here, too. So, yeah, um, and I can't think of anything else to say about this guy, but if you're an adult collector, and you remember G1 Optimus... Definitely get this one. If you're thinking about getting it for your kids, uh, mine's got some pretty tight ball joints. I mean, first time I've ever yanked his swivel off, but it slides right back on. You know, pretty good. I had to put some force into that, but other than that, all the ball joints are pretty good. The only problem I've had was the gimmick on him, where he spins and no. So, yeah, if you're thinking about picking this up for your kids as a gift, eh, go for it. I mean, hell, two, trans two Deluxe Class Transformers. I, like I said, I do believe it's Deluxe Class. But two Transformers this size. A um, little bit of a comparison. I don't have any other Transformers here for a comparison. But here's the house phone. Just a standard cordless phone. And Christmas tree in the background. Isn't it pretty? But, yeah. About as tall as a house phone. Yeah, so I was a little offbeat back here. Just fixed my daughter's Jerry figure from Tom and Jerry. And Jerry doesn't want to stand. But, yeah, as you see, taller than Jerry. And definitely got some continuity errors here. But, anyways, yeah, fairly decent size. Uh, I'd say he's comes in at about six inches give or take so 
yeah, if you're like I said, if you're an adult collector, pick them up. Um, comes with the Megatron, although Megatron's a tank, but I guess that does make a little bit more sense than him being a gun. But like I said, I'll review the tank in my next video. Um, if you're picking them up for the kids for Christmas, yeah, by all means, fairly solid figure. They'd enjoy it. All right. Well, until next time, this is Will, North Judson Man. I'll see you guys later.